Hi everyone and welcome to our YouTube channel. This video will be a guide on how to use Fresha booking system. I'll be guiding you through everything from creating an account and ensuring that your clients have the easiest possible time scheduling with you. So that by the end of this video tutorial you will understand how Fresha organizes your day-to-day -day operations all for free. That way you can focus on delivering top-notch treatments without worrying about missed appointments or messy paperwork. So to begin, go ahead and open your web browser and then head over to fresha.com. Onto Fresh's homepage, you will notice two primary experiences. The first one is for the customers who would like to find local beauty services and book appointments, and another for salon or spa owners who manage those appointments. So in the top right corner, you will see an option that reads for business. So click there and then you will be taken to a page that outlines Fresh's business focus features. You can read through the highlights if you would like to or dive right in by clicking join for free. Once you choose the join for free, Fresher will confirm that you want to sign up for the business side. So at that point, you can either link an existing account like Google, Facebook or Apple or then enter a dedicated business email address. So if your salon or spa already has a business email or Gmail or whatever, then that might be more convenient to link one of those. But otherwise, a personal email works just fine for the initial setup. Fresha will then prompt you to create a password, add your name and provide a simple form of verification that you are not a robot. You will be asked to confirm your regional country, which is important for setting the date and the time formats. And this is also for the potential integration with local payment systems if you decide to use them. Immediately after sign up, Fresha walks you through a short onboarding wizard. It's going to ask for your business name, perhaps your beauty loft or your lock snails or whatever it is, and then any website address that you might already have. If you don't have a site, that's okay. Next up, you will see a list of service categories that Fresha offers, such as nails, hair, massage, waxing, brows and lashes, or even personal training. So go ahead and choose those that best match your expertise and don't worry if you do multiple things, Fresha allows you to select multiple categories so that your final catalog can include each distinct offering. Just note that the very first category that you pick becomes your main focus. So choose whichever service is at the core of your business to represent you in the Fresher system. They will ask you about your team size as well. This helps Fresher calibrate a few default settings in your account. If you are a solo stylist or a massage therapist, you might just put one. Even if you are one, Fresher might actually go ahead and preload a demo staff in your account, but you can delete or rename those later. And finally, you will be prompted to share your business location. Again, if you have a physical salon address, type that in and confirm the map pin location. But if you do strictly mobile or on-site visits, then you can select an option indicating no fixed address. That way, Fresha knows that you're traveling to clients and not the other way around. Once you are done entering this data, Fresha brings you to your new business dashboard. And this is where we can do everything because this is where you can start customizing every aspect of your new online booking environment. So let's go ahead and set up our business details. As soon as you arrive in the dashboard, you will see a menu on the left side with items such as home, calendar, clients, sales, catalog, online bookings, the payments, and teams. To lay a proper foundation, I recommend taking some time to refine the main details that define your brand. The top item, home, usually provides a summary of tasks or the next steps such as add services to your catalog or customize your booking profile. If you see any quick prompts that say add a logo or write a short business description, I recommend that you go ahead and do that. This description might read something like, we are a boutique hair and a nail salon with a focus on the products and personalized care. Make sure that your business hours are accurate, Fresha might import the hours that you indicated in the wizard. But maybe you have some kind of special early openings for VIP clients or if you close early on Fridays, you can tweak that schedule so that your online booking times are correct. If a client tries to book outside your posted hours, they will receive a message that no slots are available. Also keep an eye on whether you want to offer a buffer time. Some salons like to add a 10 or 15 minute gap between appointments to allow for the cleanup or the consultation. You'll be able to define this in your service settings or in your staff's availability. So once you've got down these basics, your fresh account is basically ready to start taking shape. Next, I'm going to talk about your employees or the co-workers. The left menu's team section is where you manage who works at your salon and what services they can provide. If you see a sample staffer named demo person, feel free to remove or rename them. If you are the sole operator, then you could rename them to your actual name or simply archive them if you want a fresh slate. 
But to add a real staff member, you of course click add at the top. Fresh, I may phrase it a little bit differently depending on your version, but you will see an option to add or invite them. You will enter their first name, last name, and then an email address. The email of course is important if you want them to receive login credentials, scheduling notifications, or if you would like them to be able to sign into Fresh's staff application. You can also specify which services they are qualified to do. For instance, if Sarah, for example, is strictly your nail technician, then you can check the boxes for their respective service. Meanwhile, another one might be the hair specialist, so you would only assign her to the haircut and the styling services. This of course helps prevent any accidental bookings for the wrong staff members. And then in the future, if your staff swaps roles or cross train in the future, you can always update their assigned services at any time. Another detail you can adjust is the color used on the calendar. By assigning each staff member a different shade, maybe pink or yellow, whatever, everyone's schedule becomes visually distinct, making it easier to see at a glance who's busy or free. After your team is squared away, move to the catalog section to shape your actual menu of services. Fresha typically pre-populates some standard items based on the categories that you have previously selected. If you see something that doesn't match your brand, you can archive or delete it. Let's say that you don't do massages, but Fresha placed a full body massage in your menu, just remove it. And then after that, you create or refine your own categories, such as hair services, nail services, or skincare. Each category can have its own color code, though you don't have to color everything if that feels overwhelming. Inside a category such as hair services, you might add some specific offerings like a woman's cut, men's cut, haircut with some kind of skincare, highlights, color correction for each item. And then for each one of them, you can define how long the appointment usually takes. Maybe your basic women's cut is in 45 minutes, whereas a color correction takes 2 hours. You also set whether the price is fixed or variable. A variable or from price is helpful for services that depend on her length or the complexity of the process. So you can indicate from $60 to show that there could be an upcharge if extra product or time is required. Sometimes you want to create a variant inside a single service. For example, your haircut listing might have a simpler 30 minute version plus a haircut plus skincare variant that's 60 minutes. This is good because then you don't have to list the haircut and the haircut and skincare as two separate services in your main menu. But once you are satisfied with the name, duration, pricing style and all of those things that you can do at the service, hit the save button. Each one of the new services will appear in your public service menu so clients can pick exactly what they need. For the cleaning or the break times, Fresha gives you the option to add a block or processing time. If you want a 5 minute gap after each haircut to sanitize your station or reset your tools, then you can set that up as block time. That way the staff member is not shown as available immediately after finishing the main service. I'm not sure about you, but I am a big fan of these small details that ensure that your schedule runs smoothly and avoids any collisions. After that, once you have got your own catalog of services and at least one staff member, which is yourself, you are ready to set up your online booking page so that clients can see your availability and reserve times by themselves. For that, Fresha offers a marketplace listing where prospective customers might discover you if they are browsing for local services. And it also provides a direct link that you can post on your social media or embed on your website if you have one. So to begin, go to online bookings in the left hand menu. You will see an option to create or edit a marketplace profile. Fresha might ask you to write a short introduction describing your business, highlighting your specialties, or mention any brand policies. This is a great chance to share your story, whether that's focused on eco-friendly products, a passion for a specific hairstyling, or a wide range of color options for manicures. A personal recommendation is that you keep it brief and appealing. And then you want to set your hours which may or may not match on the base hours that you've input earlier. But usually you want consistency so that the clients can see the same times across the platform. You may want to upload some images like your logo, a few photos that showcase your space and your work, very high quality well lit shots of your salon interior or staff in action that can really draw in new clients. Fresha also prompts you to confirm your address and map pin once more to ensure the accuracy of your location. Once all is done, click publish and Fresha will generate your new booking link. If you choose, you can enable the reserve with Google feature which places a book button on your Google business profile. That way when people search for your salon, they can schedule instantly without leaving the search results, which is really good. To make the most out of your booking page, consider sharing the link in your Instagram bio or on your Facebook pages. 
If you send out email newsletters, mention it there as well. The easier you make it for the clients to schedule, the more likely they will follow through, especially if they can do so after hours when your phone line is closed. Once everything is set, the real action happens in your freshest calendar. That's where you will see all the upcoming appointments for the day, week, or even month, arranged by staff member if you have multiple employees. If someone books online, Fresher will show their name and service and the staff assigned color-coded for clarity. You don't have to manually accept or confirm each appointment unless you prefer a request mode, which some businesses use to maintain final approval. By default, Fresher automatically approves bookings if the system sees that a time slot is truly free. If a client calls or texts to book an appointment, you can easily add it yourself by clicking on an open slot, selecting the client, and then choosing the service, verifying the time, and all of the details. And that's really it, your calendar updates for everyone to see. If you need to move it, just drag the appointment to a new time or day. And if the client cancels, mark it as cancelled, so Fresher freezes the slot for somebody else. And that's really the basics about how you can get started with Fresh Air Booking System. Thank you so much for watching. If you have found this video to be helpful and informative to watch, go ahead and let us know by giving it a thumbs up. And definitely don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, that way you'll be getting similar guides to this one.